that into the simulation as well. So if you see the, the reset that we're giving to the the counter is this one right here. It's, it's it follows at the beginning the global reset and let's see it should follow a reset here if you see this the internal reset the the the, the reset that we're giving to the counter is also following the reset that comes from the fsm so we can see it here so if all your if all your uh, signals to the uh, counter are correct or maybe they are not then and the next thing to check we have checked all the signals that are in here the reference we have checked the cut the reset we have checked these two this output and this one is the important one if all of those we have checked them and we know that these are correct and we still don't get the fun uh, function properly then we want to go back and check now the states on the uh, state machine so we go back here and then we're gonna select the states here and we have the current the next state okay so we restart the simulation and we simulate Okay, if you see, for a long time we have it at zero, and it jumps to two. It seems like it jumps to two, right? But in between here, this there is a one clock period that, if we zoom in, we go there. It changes to to one. Oh, another thing we can change this to as well the radix of these two to unsign so we can easily follow our diagram so if you see we have zero we have one we have two and then let's zoom out a little bit and then let's just simulate again we have two and then from two we will jump back to zero but if we zoom in we can see that there is a three there so we're following the diagram uh, that we created in class that uh, with the, with the state diagram if the state diagram is is acting properly or is not is something we're with it then the last thing you want to check is that the outputs of the the outputs uh, of the uh, state machine are correct. In my case, I only have the counter reset. But we already simulated, but sometimes the problem is inside the state machine. So the last thing you want to check is the output of the state machine. So this last part, you are going to check it with the state machine table and the state machine uh, diagram they must follow the the the, the conditions that uh, have been stated on there the state machine should be jumping from one uh, state to another under the conditions we uh, that have been given in this case it jumps when the comparator output is one it jumps from three from it jumps from two to three and same when the um, Comparator output is one. It jumps from it jumps from zero to one. So we have the the one here. Then it jumps to one at this point. This is the next the current the next state, and this is the current state. So and it doesn't wait to any condition to jump to two. That's why it goes to one and then the next clock cycle jumps automatically to two so this is how you if this is what you want to see in the behavior of your one second clock signal